Yo, family, welcome to Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. And today, family, I'm about to reach across the ocean to my brothers and sisters over at Comic Republic. That's the comicrepublic.com. And there's a, a couple of books over there that are just gorgeous. If y'all don't know, the Comic Republic is a, uh, is a web portal for several uh, comics that you can read free online. I'm like, free online? How do you do that? Yeah, man, free online. Uh, I was able to, um, you know, have the honor to, to speak with the uh, the chief over there. And uh, Jade Martin, I believe, is uh, the brother's name, if memory serves. Uh, if you go to thecomicrepublic.com and, uh, you know, groovy little logo, hit enter over there, and then you'll be able to see, like, you know, hey, this is how we deliver. And uh, you'll also see, like, a Samsung ad over there. So that might give you a hint as to how they're uh, keeping the lights on and so forth. It, it, the vibration that I got off of uh, Jade is that um, he, be he believes in relationships. You know, leveraging relationships, leveraging talent. And, uh, and that's what you'll see over at uh, the Comic Republic. You know, not only are they creating comics, you know, they're giving uh, interns an opportunity to grow inside the organization and, and, and produce the art. You know, they're doing product placement in comics, which I haven't heard of before. I heard a comic, uh, you know, product placement in movies, but in comics. And uh, if you think about it, I mean, he, he really kind of looked at the terrain and decided this is the best way to go. Why? Because my understanding, most of the brothers and sisters on the continent are accessing the web through their phone. You know, so why would you, why would you just go and run to a printing press when everybody got the phone and, you know, and a lot of this artwork just pops with that back lit screen. All right, family, uh, let's get back into this review. This uh, comic is called Avanomi, The Realm Within. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, the cover art is off the chain. And she would be considered, I guess, from, you know, my American point of view, like a, a magical kind of a, a hero. Uh, the art, of course, is gorgeous. You know, I was I was kind of teasing them on Twitter the other day. Like, what are y'all trying to pull over here, man? Y'all covers look like they belong in some kind of fine arts museum or something. What are you, what are y'all, you know, <laughs> kind of a thing. They're taking it to the next level. And uh, so anyway, so we kind of go into it. You can see the staff that are here. You know, sometimes I get tired of my own self butchering people's names. But Stanley Obende, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce the brother's name. Are you sure it's not Stanley Obende? <laughs> I know what you're trying to prove, bro. I know you're trying to do, man. But he's the creator, and then you can see the staff below there. And uh, so let's get into it. There's a couple of pages where the prose is just off the chain. Uh, let me just read this to you. So we open with this young lady kind of sprawled out on the pavement. So immediately I'm saying, okay, this is for a more mature audience, which is fine. You know, more mature audience. Uh, you know, she don't, she's seen better days. But uh, long and short of it, this woman was born like many, many, many years ago. And she just disappeared. And then she reappeared, you know, a little bit less than 100 years later like physically like unchanged. It's just as young as she was when she first disappeared, except this time, uh, one, she has no memory of her past life other than like her name and stuff. And now she has these magical powers where she can see, you know, the spiritual world and she can travel, you know, magically in different places like that. But look at this prose, man. Thunder crackles. My ears numb to their tune. Barely even registered an unearthly melody in its screams. The winds howl. Even the heavens weep for me. It is a sad night tonight. A cold, sad night. I wish this was a story you came to hear. One of heroes showing great valor. Men and women in spandex. Superpowered villains. And strange gods doing battle and great deeds. Sorry. This may disappoint you. As for you, you have already guessed by now, heroes do not die in their stories. But I lay there on the cobbled streets in my blood, 
unable to feel the rain or the wind. My heartbeat drumming slowly, ominous like bells tolling. An enchanted blade pins me into a place to the earth, bleeding me dry. Now I haven't read that in No Avengers. What are they trying to, <laughs> what are you trying, y'all take it to another level, another level. So uh, that's kind of like a flashback. So now we are uh, a place in Lagos. Yeah, yeah, let me just, let me zoom out real quick. So now we're in a place in Lagos, this church, where uh, these uh, magical beings that accompany uh, Avana, Avanami, Avanami, there we go. These magical beings, uh, you know, assist her. We have this uh, brother here. Uh, his name is uh, Hisbent. His Abendek, I believe that's the way it's pronounced. And then you have this uh, purple little guy. Uh, he reminds me of the cat from uh, Death Note. You know what I mean? The way they drew the wings and so forth. Uh, but yeah, so she's about to do this kind of balance of the force kind of thing. And uh, she's about to travel. And uh, we see these this, this magical place that she's able uh, to travel in. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of... Um, you ever read that novel, A Famished Road, or The Famished Road, by Ben Okri? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, that's the only novel that made me mad. It made me mad because it ended. When I read that book, I was literally transported to another place. And uh, there was a particular passage in the book where it was this, I, I think you call it a masquerade, this big giant, you know, this big old African mask in the woods or whatever. And the kids are running through the woods and stuff. And they found this mask and the kid would pick it up and put it on. And then he could see like the spirit world overlaid on top of the physical world and see these big creatures walking around different things. And he'd take the mask off and then he would, you know, just the regular physical, put a mask on and close it up, oh, man. I don't know why this just puts me in mind of that. It puts me in mind of that. So let's just take a little minute. And just look at what's going on here. So they're traveling to the spiritual plane. She's talking about she just left, you know, the church or wherever it was, the CMS spot. And, uh, you know, she's saying, you know, the brother's saying, yo, just, just make sure you don't leave a trace, you know, because, you know, the streets is watching. And, uh, and then she talks about, well, hey, you know, I got my little buddy watching me and so forth. And, uh, and then, you know, not only does she have these two guys as allies, uh, but she has another ally uh to help her uh, scope out the scene as well so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show y'all everything uh because i want you to go get the book it's not even about buying the book you know at this point because you can look at it for free but i do want you to go you know give these people some traffic and check out this they got a ton of books over there and what you'll get is a sense of the the west african aesthetic at least from nigeria when it comes to art uh, you know, the thing that made, I think, you know, Black Panther Wakanda pop so much was that they did a lot of research. Now, people just think, oh, they did research on the African side. You know, there was some research in Oakland, California, and getting that aesthetic down as well. So, you know, every culture has their nuances, their layers, their flavors. There was some research done on the African-American side. You know, uh, when y'all do a little research on Google, you'll find out about the whole uh, ideas of Pan-Africanism, you know, that was popping over there. So, you know, just like these cats, you know, have different layers, you know, and that's why it's so important to support, you know, the artists from your community and, and neighboring communities, because you're going to get something more uh, than just bangs at pile. All right, family, this is Jonathan Soul, jonathansoul.com. Go over there and uh, subscribe to my feed on iTunes, on SoundCloud. You can uh, get artists, and writers and, uh, and, and publishers uh, from the African, African-American uh, world community. And we talk about their life and business. Uh, send your little ones and your uh, little ones at heart, you know, people like myself, over to uh, thecomicrepublic.com and get down with these wonderful books. Peace.